Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGad21. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2 Scholar, the first edition. In the last episode, we made our way to the HUD. Yeah, into the undead cops. And, well, got to this Coliseum here, where we're currently in the undead purgatory. Of course, the journey of getting to this place was easy, but finding the boss, which was an undead chariot, was a pain in the ass. Mainly because, well, the arena is filled with skeletons that evidently respawn so long as the necromancer enemies are still alive. And they like to resist magic attacks, so... Yeah, that was fun. Today, we're gonna head back to the bridge, and I'm gonna collect that fucking item that I failed to get twice. Oh, hello, what do we have here? Something I forgot to collect on the first run? Fading soul, wow, that is so worth it. Now I gotta find where the fuck fuck is the door out of here? Ah, here it is. Oh, hey, buddy. Ow. Oh, fuck this. Come on, buddy. Do your stupid slams. And don't use your shield. Thank you. Fucking red fan douchebag. Okay, now I'm freely able to explore this place without any incident. I can grab this thing. Fire seed. Now the fun part, getting back on the bridge. Oh, cool, I didn't fall through the gap like I thought I would. Well, that's not what I expected to happen. Oh, that's... kind of annoying. But, uh... Ugh. I actually expected to fall off the bridge. Just not in that spot. I expect to fall to my death when I try to get to the item on the bridge. It's not going to be useful for me because all it get, gets me access to is another PvP covenant that I can't do anything with. It's the same thing as this place, but I don't have the item to access to the NPC. Of course, the reason why I want to do this is so I can uh, swap out of the Covenant of Champions. Company of Champions, not Covenant of Champions, you idiot. Quit getting it wrong. Anyway, I want to swap out. That way I can explore the rest of the, the... Yeah. So I can fully explore the rest of the Huntsman's Cops. And uh, meet an NPC and continue his... And start his quest chain. That way we can uh, get... Okay. Well, let me see if I remember how I'm supposed to get down there. Oh. Not like that. Oh, this is, uh, annoying, to say the least. Well, I know how to fix it. Cat ring. Uh, black gloves. I don't need the tank armor right now. So take off the chest piece. Okay, now we're lighter. I also don't need the shield right now. Remove any unnecessary excess weight, and we will take less fall damage. Now, if I remember correctly, fall damage is also percentage based on your maximum health, so... I don't think the fall can actually kill me when I'm maxed hollowing, at the very least. Because I'm probably going to die to this repeatedly. 
Because the assholes decide to put that item there in the first place. Bunch of jackasses. Okay, this time, let's not fuck it up. Also doesn't help that I am dealing with joystick drift like a madman. Okay, this time, let's do the obvious thing. Fall down here. And fuck it up. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, you know what? How about I just cut to when I actually land on the damn platform? There! Oh. Actually, that didn't take that one more try. I literally just cut out the run back. Anyway, here is a Ferris Lockstone and a Token of Fidelity. The Token of Fidelity is what we need. Here it is. <coughs> Proof of helping another world's master. This actually will allow me to do something else, actually. Of course, I actually need to get to the Covenant. Token recognizing that the owner has traveled to worlds to help others. When in other worlds, it could also be used to restore the master of the world's HP. But this is only a secondary effect of the item. Simply carrying these tokens shows the depth of the holder's fidelity. Which means it's time for us to leave. The husband's cops and go somewhere else. Where are we going, you might ask? Well, well, first off. Rather than running there, I'll just use a homeward bone to get back. Okay, back to Majula. To level up. Alrighty then, is there any consumable souls? Yes. Plus I got a uh, sublime bone dust to use. Do, 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 do. How much do I have? Okay, am I gonna get to 150? No. That is fine. We shall burn another sublime bone dust. Yay! Yes, this blast has been increased. We're now at plus three. Bearer of the curse. Yes, yes, yes. Seek souls. Blah 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 blah. Let's see. I could stop at 40 intelligence and get 50 later and, and start doing other stats like attunement or, you know, HP, but fuck it. Gotta get that 50 so I can use this damn staff. It's not even upgraded. Uh, I don't have enough upgrade materials anyway, so I'm not even gonna bother. Instead, uh, do I use these right now? If I have to, I will, but not now. Anyway, we're actually heading back to Hades Tower because it's time for us to go fight that dragon. Because that dragon is guarding the boss that leads us to where I can use the token of fidelity. Okay, and I will hold off on using that just in case I die multiple times. Go to Silver Serpent Ring. Okay. You guys weak to magic? Definitely need to upgrade my armor. Actually, the big seizure of myself. Oh shit. <sighs> I 
forgot about the Knights of Hade! Oh, I forgot about the bastards that wake up. Ugh. Oh, just barely enough. I'll take it. Can I stop drifting, please? Stupid fucking actuators. Give me all the blood stain back. And I'm gonna have to take out everything, because if I don't, the dragon's gonna be a pain in my ass. Running to the dragon is the easy part. It's dealing with everything else that's not. Also, it would be easier if I was not the company of champions for this. But enough adventure, enough in game. <sighs> you gotta do me a solid and fall off like you're supposed to? Mm, there you go. Alright. Sorry, no charging attack for you. You think I'm gonna fall for your bullshit? Denied. Okay, now the fun part. Stop. Moving. Thank you. Do I do the shield trick, or do I just not even attempt it because my analog stick will not cooperate with me? I won't even bother. I'll just kill him. This is when I should have uh, equipped Soul Spear. Oh, cool, you fell off. Save me the trouble. And I don't need, I shouldn't worry so much about my spells casting because I have herbs still. Actually, a fair bit, actually. Not maximum stacks, but. I can replenish my spell slots. Charges? Now, oh, whatever. Okay, easy peasy. Let's just do the horizontal swings rather than the vertical because they are more easily recovered from. Or rather, I should say faster to recover from. Alrighty then. Having a much easier time when I'm not trying to do stupid cheese strats. Now to deal with this douche.
Magic seems rather effective against him. Okay, now the fun part. What gives me the highest fire defense? The black robes. Shadow gauntlets, it looks like. Yep. Uh, black boots for a comparison here. Yep. And the hood, uh... Yeah, anything higher than 19? No. Frangian, nah, it looks ugly, so I guess we're taking the lion helmet. Or... Dog? I'm not exactly sure what animal this helmet's supposed to represent. Well, okay. What shield do I have that has the highest fire resistance? Let's see, da, 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 da. 65, 65, 75. Thirty, sixty-six, sixty-five. Uh, I don't think the cleric small shield is going to be very effective at blocking anything. It's very good at blocking electricity, though. That's impressive. Okay. Probably should have started to heal. Made it! I would have dealt with you ages ago if I didn't get fucking ganked! Stupid dragon, get out of here! And we get a petrified dragon bone and the watch dragon parma! One of my favorite shields. A shield decorated by intertwined dragons. The black and white contrast depict the ebb and flow of the fate of all living things, and the serpentine dragons that watch over the march of time. The bearer of the shield will be bested by great fortune in battle. AKA, you want a luck shield that increases your drop chance? Here you go! Unfortunately, you're not going to be blocking every physical attack, but you do get some uh, good resistances out of it, though. 85 curse resistance. 85 Petrify, although these are pointless. 40 Bleed and Poison, 60 Dark Reduction, 60 Lightning Reduction, 75 Fire, 75 Magic, and 90% Physical. God damn, you can't have a good shield with 100% Physical block in this game. No, 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 can't have that. Anyway, lower the drawbridge. It's time for another boss. Welcome to the Cathedral Blue! Old Radiant Life Gem. And five human effigies to make up for the one that I've been using. Nice. Well, now that I don't need the, uh... Don't need the, uh, fire defense, I can put my sh stuff back on. I'll take the clear boost blue, bleh, the clear blue stone ring off when we have uh over a hundred natural casting speed, which means I would need to ha raise my tumen up by a lot. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to. Yeah, I also need to raise up a tumen anyway, because I do not have enough spell slots. Uh, do I need to worry about repairs? Nah, I'll be fine. Spell uses? Eh, might as well get some of them back. Use up a life gem. It's time to say hi to reduction of a friend. Of the old variety. The old dragon slayer! Hi, Orgstein! You, uh, seem to be tarnished. Well, quite literally, your armor is no longer golden. 
and you seem to have gotten shorter. The way I reconcile this is besides the uh, obvious uh, reusing of old assets to make a uh, quota, is that this is actually not Ornstein, this is someone else wearing an armor in his style. Also, he has the Ornstein Slam, but with uh, dark instead of electric damage. We do have similar music in a moveset, though. But yeah, this is not Ornstein because this guy does not use electricity. Also, different colored armor, and he's shorter. Even though he's called the old Dragon Slayer. No need to be greedy. Being greedy in these games is a disaster. Unless you're a speedrunner. And when you play this game enough times that you know that every single enemy's moveset and timings, that can just walk around them casually and not fear a damn thing. Anyway, we get the old Dragon Slayer Soul and the old Leo Ring. There it is. This beloved ring of a dragon slaying knight strikes its thrust weapon counterattacks. After many years of use, the ring's face is worn down, but close inspection reveals an engraved lion. Yeah. I'm not kidding when it says it's been centuries, if not millennia, says Dark Souls 1. Soul of the old dragon slayer. The old dragon slayer is reminiscent of a certain knight that appears in old legends. Use the special soul of the old dragon slayer to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth, aka the spear. Anyway, before we talk to this bloke, who is the main reason why I went out of my way to get that stupid token of fidelity, otherwise I would just not even bother coming here. Cleric Parma, a tower shield, thank you. Transient being. You have obtained proof you are worthy of joining our order. You may call yourself one of us, and are free to plant your roots in this garden of the gods. Be proud. I, Targre, do proclaim from this day you are a knight of the blue. Rejoice and bask in your new honor. Thanks, sure, why not? Welcome back to welcome to the Blue Sentinels, aka the Dark Moon Cut the, uh, the, the Dark Moon Blades. You are no longer a mere vagabond. You are now a guardian, a knight of the blue. Proud knight, take this. Guardian seal. Wear this ring and shine light upon stone. Then you will hear the voices of the blue apostles. Listen for their cries of help and repel the malicious invaders. This is the proud work of the Knights of the Blue. The way they elevate themselves to a higher plane. I'll provide what you need. You may visit me at any time. Proud Knight, you may come to me, Targre, for help. I fucking hate you, Targre. Thank you for the dual bow, Jester. He sells the Morning Star, the Halberd, Monastery Charms, Infinite Holy Water Urns, and Infinite Bolt Stones for Lightning Enchantment. An altered state of Titanite used to imbue weapons with lightning or to provide lightning reduction to shields. Sorcerers at the Melfian Magic Academy wants them to imbue Titanite with various elements, but are said to have failed. Someone must have succeeded, though. What else would explain this stone? He also sells Miracles. And is the main source of my frustration of having to travel into New Game Plus 2 to get all the miracles in this game for the achievement. Because this bastard will give you Wrath of the Gods if you reach the rank 2 or 3, I forget which, of the Blue Sentinels Covenant. Which is practically impossible when you don't play online. We Knights of the Blue must rely upon one another to achieve our greater goal. 
present your token of fidelity. To test your strength against other knights. Proud knight, aim high in all things. We knights must protect the apostles of blue. Never forget this fact, and by your honor, never eschew your training. There are others in this forsaken place who have only a lust for blood. They conspire to ambush blue apostles on the road. Knight of the Blue, protect our apostles from these bloodthirsty brigands. Take pride in your duty as a blue knight. Work hard and pursue a higher plane. We Knights of the Blue must rely upon one another to achieve our greater goal. Present your token of fidelity to test your strength. Yeah, okay. Do your work and I will lend you strength. AKA, hey, defeat people in PvP matches to level up the Covenant. It's not by helping people. No, you gotta defeat people in duels in order to rank up this Covenant. Same thing with the Covenant that you get from uh, Titchy Gren back in the uh, Undead Purgatory. But I don't have the item I need to access his uh, dialogue. <coughs> oh, wait, where am I going? There's a bonfire in here anyway. Anyway, the fact that we had to... Huh. Interesting. It looks like we have, uh... A, uh... I'm reminded of the Chozo statues in Metroid Prime. Yeah, it looks like we have, uh, bird people effigy statues using Lord Gwyn's soul. Sword. Not soul. Sword. Interesting. They, you know, they really should release, uh, books, de side books detailing the, uh, history of these fucking games. Anyway, welcome to the Blue Cathedral. We're getting out of here, because I don't need to be here anymore. Now we're heading back to the Huntsman's Cops at the bridge approach. Our journey of lighting all the bonfires is going smoothly as well, because I believe I've lit in every single bonfire that I can gain access to at this point. And now I need to remember to actually, you know, put spells here. Anyway, we're gonna take Soul Spear. Great heavy soul arrow. Great soul arrow. And finally, repair. Now I have some damage, and I don't need to worry about fixing my shit anymore. Of course, if I want to use repair, I'm going to have to put a staff in my offhand. Which is what I actually should do. There we go. I need to repair something, I'll just swap to the other staff. One shot. One shot. Hey, buddy, let's see how much damage I do to your sorry ass. Oh, wait, there's one ring I forgot to read. The Guardian Seal. Ring of the Blue Sentinel's Covenant. Join this covenant and wear this ring to automatically be summoned to the worlds of blue apostles who have been invaded by dark spirits. The ring is engraved with the crest of the way of blue, symbolizing the dignified oath to protect each other world's master from dark spirits. Oh, almost a one shot. Ow. <laughs> eh, screw you guys. Anyway. Nope. Denied. Thanks for the torch. Anyway, rather than taking the path that leads up to the Undead Coliseum, we're actually going to go this way. Kill this idiot. Where are... There's supposed to be some dogs. Where'd the dogs go? 
small orange burr. Anyway, we're gonna hit this lever. And we're gonna progress onwards through the hut's Oh, there's the door. Oh, you mother... You assholes. Jackasses. How'd I miss? Oh, fuck this. Just do the horizontal. It's much easier to deal with when I can't see them. So at least this hitbox has a wider range than the fucking two-handed version. Motherfucker. You know, I'm not even gonna bother. No, wait. That's gonna bug me if he stays alive. I gotta kill him. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are, you son of a bitch. You fool, you went on a straight shot. Anyway. Thanks for the amber herb. I needed that. Anyway, swig up. Time to cross the bridge of dreams. Not really, but... Makes me feel better to say that. Anyway, here is our target. It's locked. We need a key to open this door, and the key is deeper in. The reason why... See that guy on the back wall? He's necessary for Pate's quest line to complete. And also, he has his own quest line too, which coincides with Pate. How fitting. <coughs> anyway, we got two paths to proceed. We can go across the bridge on the left or go into the cave on the right. The cave on the right only goes so far because a gate is blocking the way with the door handle being on the other side. So we have no choice but to take the left at the burning uh, pyre of corpses. Oh, cool. I can kill you guys in one shot. Flame butterfly. Screw you! Of course, I've been using the strong Soleros for some reason. Okay, good, you guys died to the other ones. Perfect. Poison arrows! How fitting. Anyway, we need to come up here. I'll use a life gem rather than wasting another Arrestus. And here we get Merciless Rowena to show up. She's guarding what we need. Unfortunately for Rowena, she's rather weak. Nice try, bitch. Anyway, undead lockaway key. There's our key to progress. And a human effigy. Now, before we actually open up said gate, let's actually, uh... We can fall down here, uh, but there's a... Which ledge? Oh, it's this one. Oh, this is safe. Oh, I made it. Flamberge! Anyway, let's take, take care of any unnecessary ambushes. Jump down to reduce fall damage. And we'll actually run across this way. To the waterfall. Unfortunately, the way that we could use to skip skip everything is blocked up by a pile of rubble, so no easy way for us. Instead we have to take the long route, which includes a boss fight. Again. That seems to be a habit. And now we're on the other side of the cave. Let's enter. Actually. Let's uh, solve a problem right now just by using the fire longsword. Because as you can see, 
Necromancers. Fuck you. I am not dealing with your uh, magic bullshit today. It was bad enough in the Coliseum. I am not dealing with it here. Anyway. Give me combustion and three titanite shards, please. Uh, I'm not committing suicide to go for that, so we'll just light a torch up. So I can light up some sconces. At least I think that's the proper term for these. Kill the crystal lizard. Which has a large sign, a shard, a chunk, and a shard. And this guy's oblivious. Anyway, that's this flash shard. Up the ladder. Up the ladder? Up the gate goes. Hello, Necromancer. Goodbye, Necromancer. Goodbye, Skeleton. Oh, that's my jar. Goodbye, Skeleton. Goodbye, Skeleton. And let there be light. Okay, uh, one of these is the exit. It leads over there. And the other one leads out of the cave. Screw you. Is that thief gonna chase me in here? Magic Mason Titanite Shard. I wish you gave me a magic stone, but uh, magic mace will do since it does extra damage against these fuckers. Why did I hear someone fall down? Oh, ragdolls, that's why. Anyway, use the undead lockaway key to open up the gate, activate the bonfire, and talk to this guy. You've set me free. Now I can find him. The cheeky prick. He won't know what hit him. I am Kraton of Mira. I travel from land to land to hone my blade. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. I joined forces with a man on the way. He was no more than a backstabbing knife. He took the first chance he had to try and off me. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. I can't believe that I was so dense. Thank the stars that you came along. Well, you also have a bonfire in here, so... You be careful of him. Pite, I think he said. He wears this rather unusual ring. You know it when you see it. I've seen this type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure of it. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man's better off dead. I tell ya. He's a slick talker. So don't let him fool ya. Pate, the man with a strange ring. Watch out for the slimy rat. And don't you believe a word that he says. I'll find the common for bad and put an end to his roguery. <laughs> Thanks for the fist bump, Jester Creighton the Wanderer. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Anyway, I don't need this out anymore. Where do you think you're going, asshole? Give me this. Thank you for the herb.
Anyway, there's that br plank bridge. I swear the lock-on system does not work right sometimes. Ah, here are those two idiots that we shot. And there's another idiot. Sorry. You think I'm gonna fall for an ambush this simple? Nice try, though. <coughs> All that for two flame butterflies. Well, really, you only need, like, five. Anyway, that's it for this area. So... Let's see, do I actually need to rest for Creighton's, uh... Sign to show up, or just, uh... Bring him in the I mean, granted, I probably should rest at the bonfire anyway, so I can see, so I can actually make sure, but whatever. The summon sign should be, if I remember correctly, in here next to the gate. Wrong cave turn. I'm not risking my life for that item right now. Ah, here it is. Okay. Uh, I don't need to use repair right now. We still got soul spear. We got still got a decent number of soul arrows. Let's get that back up. Yeah, with the amount of spell casting that we have based on the number of scrolls, we really don't need to use anything more than amber herbs right now. Anyway. Creighton, my man. Hang on a second. Do I use the magic mace for this part? <coughs> nah. Moon like great sword. Creighton the Wanderer, come on. You can practically solve this boss fight on your own for the most part. There's actually another NPC around here that uses the uh, small signs. That if you're fast enough by clearing out the enemies and actually getting him to show up in the boss fight, he's actually really useful. <coughs> but uh, I'm not gonna go run go and get him. Instead, we're just gonna do this the old, the old fashioned way. Come on, Creighton, let's go. Time to face the Skeleton Lords! And here we got three Skeleton Bros. One with a Scythe, one with a Spear, and one with a Staff. The Staff one cast Fireballs. However, it's not just these idiots. You see, this fight has a special gimmick. For when you kill one of the Skeleton Lords, a bunch of uh, Skeletons show up to, to join the fray. Including Bone Wheels! Everyone's favorite! That takes care of that. So yeah, here come the Skeleton Warriors. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Hey, uh, Creighton, you wanna... Oh, the hell. Well, that's good to know that I almost kill these guys. A single arrow. Oh, one swing's enough. Ooh, no learning skull. Those actually are useful in this fight. So much for the Crusading Skeletons. Uh, 
Uh, Crane, don't kill that one right now, because if you do, we're gonna have a problem. Roll into it, fucking queued up, fucking movement bullshit. Because you kill the guy with the staff, the boom wheels show up. That's what I was trying to say, Crane, but. Fortunately, there's not that many bone wheels. Hey, my sword broke. Great. That kills you. Man, you rapier assholes are annoying. Piss off. <sighs> that was annoying. Well, that's it for the skeleton lords. Human effigy. Great. Did you guys drop anything else for me? A foot soldier shield. Yay. Man, I can't believe I broke my sword. Oh, that's annoying. Hey, at least it shows battle damage, even though it's not technically a physical blade, but whatever. Uh, when I get a certain ring, uh, I don't want to worry about the sword breaking for a bit. Which also would be a good time when I can ditch most of these rings. For something better. <laughs> Fuck you, ladder. I don't need your help. Anyway, we're through the Huntsman's Cops and we are into Harvest Valley. Yay! New area. First though, we gotta walk through the poison pool to get to another bonfire. Uh, let's go see Strayed and see if he has any new stuff for us to get. Huh, I swear these guys have slight homing capabilities with the Soleros. Souls. I need souls, you cursed fool. If you seek my strength, bring me souls. I like how I even I like how I put uh repair and my spit and my sword still breaks. Though to be fair. It was not my fault. I didn't pay attention. Which means it is my fault. Uh, is there anything useful for me to trade with? No, I got what I wanted, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do I want to head down to Brightstone Cove? Not really. Uh, might as well head to do set some here. A blacksmith is a blacksmith, and he can repair my shit, right? I ought to fetch. 
Yes, you can. That's gonna cost me not that much, actually. Can I upgrade it at all? Do I finally have enough? I do! Plus three! I need more twinkling and petrified dragon bones. And I don't have a faint stone yet. Ugh. And I'm not gonna be getting one for a while. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, before I do anything in Harvest Valley, let's head back to... Uh... Oh yeah, there's also the Doors of Pharos I need to do. Look, I hate that area. Let's head back to Majula. And see if Master Carillion has any new spells for us to buy. Oh, there you are. Do you seek my teachings? Indeed I do, good sir. I mean, I could just buy out his inventory, that's a possibility. I really don't need these spells, that's the thing. I mean, I could get Yearn, which functions as, uh... Functions as Alluring Skulls? Eh, I'll hold off on it. No, wait, Yearn doesn't do that. What does Yearn do again? Yeah, it does do the same thing as the Lord of Skulls. What the hell am I thinking of? One day my teach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with that out of the way, it's time for us to use some boss souls. Hey, an Estus Flask shard. I forgot I had that. Is that a hate to see however Okay, and now we have nine Estus Flash, Estus Flask. We are almost full. Only three to go. Anyway, let's use up all these souls. Do 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 do. Pitiful amounts, really. Yes, 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 I know. Man, the upgrade caused my damage to skyrocket. Okay. 429, almost up to the stat, almost up to the staff's attack power. Oh, we're one level away, too, and I almost have... No, no, I've misread that. I am halfway to a level. Uh, I got things to turn into other things betwixt with the crows, so let's put that in. And that will be the final thing for today. I mean, do I have the, uh... No, I do not. I mean, nothing's stopping me from uh, killing the basilisk to see if I get anything. But crows first. You, you, give give a smooth. smooth. Yes. yes, you give a silky. Shut up. Okay, leave. Ugh. Why does that have to be a singles? Why couldn't it be stacks? I know the petrified something has a chance of giving you a whip. Yeah, yeah. Go back. Go 
So smooth. Yay. Yeah, silky smooth. Okay, again, amber herb. A magic stone. That's not what I'm looking for. A raw stone. That's not what I'm looking for. Cracked red eye orb. Useless to me. A titanite slab. I'll take it. Well, I'm guessing the slab came from the petrified something. Better than nothing, I suppose. Anyway, I need a faint stone, not a magic stone. Or is it... Uh... Motherfucker, I'm trying to read. idiots. Swig up. That's a raw stone. That's not what I'm looking for. Huh. Well, that was unproductive. It looks like I'm calling it here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been no god 21. This has been Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Let's call it the first sin. The next episode, we head to a Harvest Valley. But until then, thank you for watching our wonderful evening. I'll see you all next time.